Hi everybody, welcome to this video where we're going to look in detail at the skill tiers uh, that are determining your tournament bracketing. Now there's quite a lot here to take in, but I'm going to talk you through it so that you have uh, an idea of how it's all going to work. Okay, so as it says here, for each tournament difficulty you will be placed into a skill tier. So this is going to be automatic, you can't choose which skill tier you're in, it's going to be determined by a load of different factors. And it's going to be based on your previous tournament experience. So the more success you have in tournaments, the more experience you'll earn. Both tournament matchmaking, matchmaking and bracketing use your skill tier to group you against opponents with similar tournament experience and success. So this is going to make the brackets a lot more, we hope, fair. Match played trophy count, coins balance and equipment owned don't necessarily tell us who the best players are. However, it says if we look at how players have historically performed in tournaments, we get a great measure of their skill and ability. So it says here it's going to be uh, represented with a number of stars, okay? And each tournament difficulty has three skill tiers apart from master. So rookie is going to be one, two and three. Same with pro and expert, but master is just master, okay? And I guess they've done that because there aren't as many players that play in master. So once you're playing in master tournaments, you know you're always going to have that only one skill tier. So it's going to be interesting. I'm wondering whether they might change that or not, because um, it's kind of hard to see um, how master brackets are then going to be changing under this uh, system, obviously with expert, pro and rookie. Uh, different skill tiers, um, you know, going to delineate different uh, bracket strengths. But in Master, they're saying only one skill tier in Master. So um, basically, if you've got two stars in Pro, if that's your skill tier, the only opponents you will face in that bracket will be people who also have a skill tier of two stars in Pro. Now it says here, this is how they're going to work it out. Okay. When you reach the weekend round, you will achieve a number of points. So flappers are not going to matter here. Opening round or failed qualifiers, not going to matter. It's only for weekend round finishes. OK, the number of points you earn vary on the tournament difficulty level and your final position at the end of the weekend round. So obviously here it says a golfer who takes master gold will achieve more points compared to a pro gold. Now the line on the top is master. And it's saying here a first place master is going to be 2000 points. This is not clan points. This is only skill level points. Expert is coming in at 750, 500 for pro and 250 for rookie. And as you can see from the curves on those graphs, they do reduce at a similar level. You know, they are uh, concurrent per division. Um, but obviously between expert and master, there is a huge jump. So 750 for first place expert, 2000 for master. Also, the number of points you receive will vary depending on the tournament type. OK. So let's just have a look at this. Standard tournaments, it's going to be that graph. Major is going to be 1.5 times the amount. So a win in Masters in a Major will be 3,000. But in Minis, it's going to be multiplied by 0.75, i.e. it's going to be a reduction. OK, so it's going to be a reduction for Minis. These points also degrade over time. So the more recent the tournament, the more points you get. So that does basically mean that if you've had a tournament gold and then don't win anything for 20 tournaments, you're going to be reduced accordingly. So it, it means that you're not always going to be in difficult brackets if you've had, say, one gold medal. So it is going to take into account your recent form, which I think is excellent. OK, key facts about how points degrade. The points you have achieved from your 20 most recent tournament results will degrade at a rate determined by our curve, regardless of when they were played. So this is basically going on about recent form. So the what it's looking here, the flat line part of the graph is basically the last three or four tournaments. 
So your success in the most recent tournaments will affect your bracket more than a tournament from 20 tournaments ago. Okay, and there is a percentage there as well, um, if you want to read into that. Um, if you've played 21 tournaments over a period where 30 have been possible to enter, your first 20 will be used to um, determine your skill tier, regardless of how long ago they were played. Okay, so then they're going to, talking here, totaling up the points, each tournament's points are added together after all the modifiers have been applied. So that's whether it's a mini or a major. That is the figure that will determine your skill score. The skill score will not be visible, but behind the scenes, it is used to determine your skill tier. So they've not disclosed exactly what the points are, but there's an indication here um, that gives you an idea. You know, it, it says it's a, represent a representation of data and is subject to change. Now, interesting here, in case where golfers haven't played enough tournaments to build up an appropriate score, they are going to use your max trophy level to help put you into a skill tier. So if you've not played enough, like 20 tournaments, then they're going to look at your max number of trophies and there's a correlation there. The more trophies you have, the more skill points they're going to award you. So world rank. This is the first evolution of our world leaderboard where we use players' skill scores to determine the top 1,000 players in the world. So they're only going to give you the data if you're in the top 1,000 which is going to be interesting. And then it explains why um, they've done this, uh, ensuring fair bracketing for golfers of all skill levels. And they understand why people are, have um, given themselves easier brackets or stayed in a certain weekly league to win. But this is designed to remove all of that. And I'm all for it, I must say. Um, I'm all for this. It is an ever-evolving process. So... Uh, they have a phase two announced there. We already have loads of improvements for phase two of tournament reworks. And this is what they're looking at in future. A new way of filling brackets so the time you enter isn't the key factor. So people entering late deliberately to avoid people that uh, are known for gold banners that enter at a certain time. And they're also going to look at the strength of tournament brackets when assigning points and going to constantly evolve the algorithm for golfers in the world ranking position. So that's a bit sketchy at the moment, but it does sound like they're going to automatically bracket you from qualifying to opening and opening to weekend. So hopefully uh, people aren't going to be playing the bracket lottery too much, and this should reduce the uh, disparity in scores and also in brackets where you've had a completely different set of scores needed to qualify from opening to weekend and then at weekend round um, the skills skill tiers are then hopefully going to make the banner uh, positions a little more close together so it should make it much more competitive so hope that helps and uh, we'll be on later on today and don't forget to check out the other video on the channel which looks at the uh, press release in the social hub about all of the changes and this is just one of them there's a lot more exciting changes so make sure you go and check out the other video on the channel and i'll see you all very soon bye for now